Hello everybody. Today we're going to hit on this trailer, the Hawk Crawler. I've been asked by a lot of people to do an update on exactly what I've done to the trailer to make it work on my e-bike. So we're going to hit on that right now. I'm going to start off with the hitch. What I've done is I've gotten a 125 pound caster pulled the wheel off and then put it on here pinned it and I bolted it because I used to have some u-bolts over it that had a tendency to kind of slide back and forth this will give me a lot of range of motion I can go up and down I can go side to side it doesn't give me a lot of off camber options so when the when one tire goes down a little bit lower or higher it doesn't quite give me that ability if you guys play with this yourself and you find that you can figure out how to make it have better camber um, leave me a message you know um, and let me know how you're doing it this pole right here this or this tube is just a half inch steel tube that I picked up at Home Depot drilled my hole ran it through and then drilled a hole here and pinned it so i can take this off if my wife and i just want to go for a ride down here on the trailer you can see i've got all of these little additions here these are stainless steel and you can get these on amazon i'll leave the link below relatively inexpensive I had to drill this out and pin it because when you put a lot of weight on this and I found that out the hard way this will collapse if you've got too much weight on it and up here in the Pacific Northwest where we've got elk and we're pulling out four to six hundred pounds of meat really stressing this thing out it will collapse on you so I highly recommend drilling that out and putting some of these pins I just went to Harbor Freight and got the whole kit that uh, I think it was like 15 bucks. Not much at all. Also, I got these at Harbor Freight. It was like eight bucks for the whole set of the camo bungees. And then you can see back here, I also pinned this. Fortunately, this is already pre-drilled. Um, the guys at Hawk really understood that even though it collapses down real nice, you want to have the ability to pin that back to keep it from collapsing on you in the back when you're hauling the game out. And that is about it for it. It's been a great trailer. And if you guys have any other questions on it, leave a comment below. Um, I will continue playing around with it, and hopefully I can come up with some other solutions. But if you guys find your own solutions, by all means, leave me some comments so I can tweak mine as well. Um, I've seen some great stuff out there, and hopefully we can all work together to make this trailer just awesome. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys can come up with a solution that works right for you. Um, by all means, try this out. Everything you see here probably only cost me maybe 35 bucks total. Um, I think you guys will like it when you set it up like this. The biggest issue that I have with this is going uphill. Uh, when I have weight on the trailer, it will want to lift the front of the bike up. So you got to really lean forward on it when you're heading uphill, when you're hauling some weight. Other than that, great system. Hope you liked it. Get outdoors.